functions at the office uh, where we are quite surprised sometimes to find that we are the only people cleaning up at the end of the day or perhaps taking the cups and saucers through to the kitchen. Um, I think this is something we should bring to everyone's attention, whether how to actually function as a staff member when there are visitors. You know, it's something that I guess as a family, mm -hmm. it, and that's part of what you do as a family when you're entertaining, how does it work in your home? Mm -hmm. And are, and for me, when we're entertaining, everybody in the house is the host. Yes. So I think it should be the same at the office. It, you can't have certain people coming to a function and behaving as guests when the senior executives are running around and doing mm -hmm all the work and all the entertaining. But more than that, it's not just about the tidying up, although that obviously is something. Mm -hmm. It's also about how you behave yeah. at a work function where clients, suppliers, stakeholders are present. You cannot get into a group of your colleagues and have a conversation when next to you is a client sitting on their own who's not part of that conversation. So it's remembering that when you are part of a company, that when there are strangers in your mix, is that you have to move outside of your comfort zone and become a host. A host. Yeah. And I do think that's something that a lot of companies are not very good at. I, I go to functions as both a guest, and we have functions as a host, and do something where you feel that the hosts, in a way, a little superior to the guests because they, they're part of it mm. and it's to make the guests feel special and we started to get that feedback at our mm. company that everybody who comes into reception is greeted warmly but you need to take it to the next level and remember that every time you have clients in your mix and in your midst that you then have to convert your thinking to become the host. Mm.